Hello my wonderful friends, Megus with you on a beautiful day in Asha and uh, tomorrow is Temple Tuesday, so excited. Um, do you know what I'm going to do at the end of this, I'm going to put a link to our sister channel Zoroastrianism. That channel, all we talk about is Zoroastrianism. You're going to absolutely love it. I don't know of any other channel that has gone through each of the Gothas, the, the remaining writings of Zarathustra himself and, and broken it down, not just from word by word translation, uh, but the heart and the spirit behind it my friends i think you're going to find it absolutely beautiful so at the end of this click on that link and it'll take you to our channel go ahead and subscribe and uh i know you're going to love it but before we start of course we're going to uh get a word from spirit again uh, open up the oracle but i, I got to give a special thanks to my wonderful friends uh we got some more new ones uh asal i hope i'm saying that right bless you my wonderful friend so glad to have you here Patriot Daughter, Bruno, uh, Mahmoud, uh, of course we got Dion, Richard, uh, Verochit, and Christy. Uh, my friends, I'm just going to pray a blessing over you. Father, right now I pray in Jesus' name that you bring peace into their hearts right now. Bring joy into their hearts right now. Let them know, Good Spirit, that you are with them. Let them today know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you are have them in your hand and that good things are not only coming to them but good things are here holy spirit i pray that you would fill them and guide them and lead them to all their dreams and desires i pray divine life i pray divine health into your bodies into your minds into your families into your homes and into all of your future endeavors so be it so my friends what we're going to do is we're going to Open up and, and get a message from our oracle. Oh my gosh, guys. This one means so much to me. Uh, it, it's Yeshe Le Kom Yandolosa. Anything is possible. Let me say that one more time. Yeshe Le Kom Yandolosa. Anything is possible. This one's personal for me. Uh, can I just share some stories with you guys? about that um, the first time uh, that I really experienced that uh, I, I was at a Bible study and uh, my youth pastor was telling us about the language of angels and, and I didn't quite understand it but he told me uh, go home tonight by yourself in your room and, and just ask God to fill you with his Holy Spirit and, and then just speak out the words that, that are uh, in your belly, you'll, you'll feel it bubbling up like a fire in your belly and, and then just speak it out. And my friends, that's what I did. And, and this is one of the uh, statements that came up out of me. And, and my friends, I'll, I'll tell you what, it, it's been a blessing throughout the rest of my life. That was when I was back in high school. My friends, this has blessed me time and time again. I'll tell you what it reminds me of. Uh, Yata'uhu, uh, the most powerful Zoroastrian prayer there is. And, and when a Zoroastrian finds himself in trouble, sometimes he'll just yell out, Yata'uhu. And, and that's basically what we would say, God help, you know, and, and he does. When, when you have a, a, a words, but a word behind it, a vibration, a, a, a feeling, a meaning behind those words, uh, my friends, that's when magic and miracles happen. You, you're putting that, that faith behind the words. And, and so I think it's important that each of us get a word that we use, be it Yeshe Lakam Yandolosa, be it Yata'ahu, or be it just God help, but you know instinctively what that means. Not only does it mean God help, but it means my God shall help. My God is all good. Me and my God are one and cannot be separated. And my friends, I'll, I'll t let me share some of these stories for you guys. You're going to love this. The first time I really saw this work in, in the most magical way ever. I'm sure you've heard it uh, said in the scriptures where Jesus told us that greater works will you do. This is the first time I experienced greater works will you do. Uh, I was in the car with my dad and, and I was, uh, you know, many miles away from my friend that was walking to work, a, a very attractive young woman, and uh, a car full of men pulled over and tried 
to abduct her, try to throw her in the car. And, and she called out on the name of Jesus. And my friends, I was in a car many miles away. And, and God spoke to me and said, pray. And, and, and I said, what is it? Is it mom? And, and he said, no, it's, and he gave me the name of my friend. And, and so he gave me words to pray that, that language of angels, my friends. And, and then a complete peace came over me that she was fine. Uh, okay, and we didn't have cell phones at that time, and so when I got home, I asked her, what happened at this exact time that God would speak to me so clear, clearly? And she got big tears in her eyes and told me the story, my friends. Uh, another time, uh, I, for about, oh, maybe a couple weeks, was having just this awful feeling that something bad was going to happen. And finally, one morning, in that place between awake and asleep, spirit spoke to me. And he took me out of my form in spirit to the bottom of my ex-wife's driveway. And so the driveway was very steep, and then there was a fast road right here. And the kids would ride their scooters and bikes down that and out into the street. And uh, one day there was a car parked where my son couldn't see the car speeding down and so my ex-wife was out there and she could see that uh, my son and the car were gonna collide and she's screaming for him to stop but he couldn't hear but she didn't know earlier that morning spirit had taken me in spirit put me at the bottom of that driveway and God told me put up a shield of faith. I didn't know what a shield of faith was. I was picturing like you see when you're a kid at Sunday school, a shield on my arm with a sword, right? And he said, no, he showed me that it's a force field. And it was going from the driveway to the street where no one could pass. And then he gave me words to say, and he gave me a language of angels and I spoke it. And then I woke up out of that that vision and had a complete peace. That nine that was at me for weeks was gone. Later that same day, my friends, my ex-wife called and said, you won't believe what happened. My son Taylor was coming down the driveway. She saw the car coming. She was yelling. Taylor couldn't hear because her new husband was mowing the lawn. She said it was like a nightmare. Uh, he got to the bottom of the driveway and bounced off of an invisible wall. My friends, there is power in our words when there's word behind it, when there's faith behind it. What, what is that faith that we mix into our, our words that makes that magic my friends, that's what we want to find out. And I'll tell you what it is. It's the Holy Spirit. It's the very Spirit of God that we call Asha. You have to have a reason to have a, a true belief. Otherwise, you're just hoping. Otherwise, you're just begging a deity in the sky, my friends. But but when you have reason, what is our reason? It's, it's Asha. It's that a perfect creator. What else could he have but a perfect idea of creation of our life of who and what we are that's truth that's reality that's the real above all real and we just come into agreement with that how do we come into agreement with that my friends we align our energies with it he speaks a promise that me and my children will live and not die and declare the works of the lord and we just agree with it we speak and we say me and my children will live and not die and, and my friends we, we 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 make that connection that that one this and my God, magic happens. Things that don't even make sense in the natural happen, my friends. It's that faith where Jesus said, if you believe, if you have faith, you can tell that mountain to go jump into the sea and it will obey you. My friend, nothing is impossible. I've seen some crazy things. I don't know if I've shared this story with you guys. I, I remember one night, I can't remember what time it was. It, it was you know, late in the night, early in the morning, uh, I was completely sound asleep. And I know this sounds crazy, my friends, but there's a bump on the bottom of my bed and I looked down and there's a small man at the bottom of my bed and there was no words exchanged, but I sat up and I said, okay, okay, I'm coming. I followed this man. I should have been freaking out if there's a person in my in my room and, you know, but I wasn't. There's some familiarity there. I don't know. And I followed him out of the door. And as I walked out into the night air, I ran into one of my neighbors. And I don't even remember this. He had to, the next morning tell me the story. I'm half asleep, my friends. And apparently I gave him the whole message of the Lord Jesus Christ. And he accepted Jesus that night 
night. He was out pacing because he was a lawyer and he was stressed out and miserable. And, and I guess I gave him words of peace and comfort and led him in the, the prayer to accept the Lord Jesus, my friends. And then the next morning, uh, I run into him. He's all, hey, man, I can't thank you enough. I'm all, for what? And he told me the story. And I'm like, oh my God, I remember that. The little man bumping the bottom of my bed and I'm following him outside and it started to come back to me, my friends. My, my God, nothing is impossible with, with the Lord Jesus, with Asha, with the all good spirit, my friends. We live in a magic world. My God, look around. Sometimes we, we, we just see the form and the matter and we see some of the mess created by, by the mixed mind, uh, by the carnal mind. But my God, my friends, there's magic around us. We just got to open our eyes. We got to become awake. We need to align with that spirit, that Asha, and my friends, Asha is order. Asha is harmony. Asha is peace and joy and kindness and power and freedom and goodness and everything you are looking for. You got to shake yourself loose, my friends, of all the programming that's put in to you by the matrix religions, the matrix politics, the matrix society, the matrix rules. My friends, in spirit, there are no rules. We are free beings, my friends. The only rule is love. When you're in love, nothing is impossible because that is the highest power in the entire universe, my friends. And I'll tell you what, if you'll keep yourself in that vibration of love, God will pour out His power on you because you can be trusted. Your, your heart is right when you're loving. Your motive is right when you're loving, my friends. And I'll tell you what, God will blow your mind of what you thought was possible. Yeshe lakam yandolo saw anything is possible. Oh, beautiful. Praise God. Guys, I love you so much. Thank you for each and every one of you that every day have been bringing a new person to hear these messages of hope and the all good spirit. The people need to know, the world needs to know that God is all good. He doesn't hate, war, kill, destroy. He's nothing to fear. He's your loving father. Oh, what a beautiful message of Asha. All right, my friends, I love you so much. Uh, I'm going to put up that link, go to our sister channel, and guys, no, I love you so much. Excited. See you tomorrow for Temple Tuesday.